All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Call of the Night episode nine. In the last episode, uh, I did actually miss the last episode. Well, I've watched it, missed it on the channel because I was away for a week, so I apologize about that. Um, but yeah, I watched it anyway. In the last episode, we had uh, introducing of another of uh, Ko's friends when he was little or someone he didn't realize was a friend apparently. Uh, Mahiru seems like a really, really nice guy, considering he's like cl clearly the very popular type. Very down to earth, though. It seems like a really cool dude, and he's really nice to Ko. Um, so yeah, that was nice to meet him. We're meeting more characters, characters as we go along. And, and then in the other part of the episode, uh, Ko got some advice from the blonde vampire, I can't remember her name, um, who said, hey, you should take her on a date. Here's a list of places that, you know, she will definitely love. Clearly, she did not love them at all. Um, but yeah, episode kind of ended up with her just being like, hey, Ko, listen, what we do every night is basically a date. Let's just keep doing what we're doing because it's fun. I enjoy it. And that will be what earns them or earns him kind of her falling in love with him or him falling in love with her, sorry. Uh, which I agree with. I think what they've been doing up until now is, I mean, extreme, obviously, in, in a lot most parts, but kind of it's what uh, partners would do together. So, yeah, he doesn't need to do anything more than he's already been doing. But yeah, I'm really excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Person to kill time with. High school girls? The fuck do you mean by that? Oh yeah, people getting attached. Yeah, bro came on too strong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> catch this Nazana kick. Yeah, I mean, she was only going to hug. Fox, yeah. I, I get you, Nazana, don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she was just going to go and hug him. But I, I get you, you know. She hurt him before. Ooh, she's lying to herself here. Maybe she doesn't like getting to too close to humans because they get so needy. Like this guy. He doesn't know that's a... He, he, no, he knows that's a... Ko is spitting, bro. Where's Nazana during this? Yeah, makes sense. That's pretty outrageous. With some mad vibes. She wants some popularity, some fans while she's singing, you know? It's like the song right now. Yeah, he doesn't know the popular shit. I hate this in anime when they do karaoke and we never see them sing. Oh, is this the kind of music he likes? Damn, and she's probably lived for a long time too, right? Although the, looking at her, I don't know, she might have just changed with the times, but maybe she like, maybe she became a vampire in the 90s or something? Oh, is this one of her followers? Bro, this is fucking creepy. Yeah, spitting there. What's he gonna do? She's a vampire. <laughs> He's a pussy, bro. Yeah, until these dudes fucking snap. Freaks, man. What is this dude doing? Go away. Yeah, it's wrong. Yes, but human rules don't apply to us, but... Alright, yeah, he's, he's being fair about it. Sometimes they have to kill. Bro, this dude could have like a knife or something. Ooh, ooh, damn. Bro, he almost took Ko out. Why does he kind of look like the main character from Bleach? 
This dude's fucking mad. He, he just saved your life. Yeah, that's what he's always been, clearly. He's just insecure. Why is he holding his neck like that? Yeah. Uh, that, that's very true. Mm, can't be having someone like that in your life, man. Can't be having these feelings. Wait, is he recording this? Well, he's not a complete incel, it would seem. Still, he went off the bit, went off the rails a bit here. Oh, is he charming for Nazana? Yeah, like she's gonna let that happen. Let's go. I love that he he like made her come over, and then when she like understood the situation, she went doot doot on the uh, on the walkie-talkie. Oh, maybe this is someone she actually liked. Oh, maybe th is this someone she actually liked? Damn, this is deep, man. She just wants a proper friend. <laughs> He's like, yep, no problem. <laughs> That's not what he wants, though. He just wants to see her. He doesn't care if it's as her friend. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, but it's been working, though. Oh. Man. I wasn't expecting tears from this girl. Oh, shit. Bro, giving up his whole life for her, man. Oh, she just chumps on his arm. <laughs> Akiyama the offspring. Oh, he doesn't need his glasses anymore? Nice. Alright, so that was another good episode of Call of the Night, episode 9. Um, I really like that kind of look into Seti as a person, or as a vampire, I should say. Um, her emotions and how she feels. She made a friend of a human, something that she doesn't get to have that same kind of wavelength with, with a friending a vampire. Um, obviously, he ended up developing proper feelings for her, but she just wanted him to be there as a really good friend. She was having so much fun. And then, yeah, he gave up his whole life just to continue being friends with her. I think that's really sweet. Um, and yeah, I, re I really like her character, and especially knowing that what we know now. I hope we get to learn more about the other vampires as well. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.